today I'm here with my August favorites. We're going to be chatting about my favorite beauty, skincare, and hair care that I loved throughout the month. And be sure to stick to the end. I'm going to be talking about my favorite YouTubers and subscribers of the month. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit that button down below and let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about what's on my lips first. This is a brand new launch to Estee Lauder. It is their Pure Color Love lipsticks. There's four different finishes in the line and a ton of colors. So there's kind of something in there for everybody, as cliche as it is to say. If you live here in Canada, they are exclusive to Shoppers Drug Mart. The shade that I want to talk about specifically is, what is it even called? Naked City. And when I did the Bite Beauty liquefied lipstick video last month, I think it was, I had a few nudes in that collection that were much more nude than what I had kind of expected and I could still rock them without a lip liner and I really enjoyed that look. And I've always had a lot of trouble finding a nude lipstick that I can throw on easily that's a true nude and not like a rosy brown nude. And this is absolutely one of them. It has a little bit of a sheen to it but it's still incredibly comfortable, has a good wear time. I mean it's not a matte liquid lipstick so it's not going to have that wear time but it wears off really really nicely, feels super comfortable on the lips but most of all I just really really love the shade and it doesn't have um, a very strong scent to it either and of course the packaging is stunning. Speaking of the Bite Beauty liquefied lipsticks they've already extended the range as if there wasn't already a bunch of gorgeous shades I will link to my lip swatch video down below and then they actually sent me the new six shades so I swatched those on Instagram which I will link to down below. I'm trying to do more kind of like Instagram exclusive content so be sure to follow me there because I have a lot of makeup and there's only so much I can talk about here on my YouTube channel and I want to make sure I'm covering everything new that's coming out. So there is a lip swatch video on my Instagram which I will link to down below. But the shade that I want to mention is Tournay or Turn. I think it's a cooking term. I think it's like when you shape ice cream into this little kind of football shape. I don't know. I used to watch a lot of cooking shows, um, but this shade is so beautiful. It's incredibly bold, super orange. I wore it out last week and I got so many questions about it, but what I love about it is it's really, really bold and bright, but again, I don't need to wear a lip liner with it, and it just makes such a statement. It is a gorgeous formula, exactly the same as the other liquefied lipsticks. I really like the wear time on these. They are not a matte liquid lipstick. They are a liquefied lipstick. They call it like a semi-glaze I think and it has a pretty high shine it kind of wears down wears really really nicely and if the shade isn't for you there's tons of shades in the range even in their shade extension they have some more kind of like neutrally shades but the bold shades in the shade extension they're just they're perfect I know that I absolutely love something when it ends up in my travel makeup bag and as you may have seen I traveled home to Newfoundland for 10 days at the beginning of the month and this guy made it in there if you'd like to see a hometown tour by the way of St. John's Newfoundland I will link to that down below. But this blush, come on, it's in the shade Sun Peach Glow and it's just perfect. It doesn't really have any actual glow to it. It's a matte finish, really nice pigmentation, but not too pigmented. So that's why I liked it for travel because it just matched everything. It gave such a nice peachy hue to the cheeks, but I didn't have to worry about it being too soft or powdery, breaking in my makeup bag, or just something that was going to be too hard to work with. I was home with family, like mini golfing with my cousins. Like I didn't want anything that was going to be too hard to work with. And this was just such an easy shade. It's totally going to become a staple for me. And Vasanti is a Canadian brand here in Toronto. You can get them at Rexall. In the East Coast, I knew you could get them at Lawton's, but I don't know anymore. And then on the West Coast, I think you can get them at London Drugs. I don't know. You'll have to let me know down below uh, where you find Vasanti or let other people know in case they're looking to pick it up. Just when I thought I had enough golden highlighters, this guy came into the picture. It is from Dose of Colors. It is Gold is the New Black. And I actually ordered this from Ulta to my friend's house in the United States and when it arrived it had a little chip in the corner and it is a very soft powdery highlight so I'm just waiting for the day that I open this up and it's going to be super uh, all over the place. Ulta sent another one and I just let my friend keep it instead of like having two or anything like that so she gets to glow as well. But this is so intense. If you love a gold highlighter, if you have a deeper skin tone, um, they have some other shades as well if you have a more fair skin tone or if this one doesn't look to be for you. But this is so gorgeous. I love wearing it on my shoulders as well, down my arms, but on the face it is so beautiful. I'm actually not wearing it now. I was filming something else prior to this, but I have been wearing this in a lot of videos, so I didn't want to wear it again. But it, it is so good. It's beautiful, and I absolutely recommend you just give this line of highlighters a try. There's some really beautiful shades, so I haven't, I haven't gotten actually around to placing an Ulta order to Canada yet, but um, a lot of my friends have had a good experience, so when I do, I'm going to be adding another one of these. 
Contour powders for me are always tricky, but I feel like I've been finding my stride, finding lots of good stuff lately, and I'll be doing an updated contour and bronzers for tan deep skin. I will link to my previous two of them down below if you're curious, but this one is beautiful and super affordable, but unfortunately near impossible to find in Canada, I think. I picked this up at CVS while in the United States. It's from Black Radiance. It's their pressed powder, so it's actually a face powder in the shade Rich Mahogany. But when I saw this, and be sure to keep an eye out if you have problems finding contour contours or bronzers or something like that, look in the face powders as well because it's a powder is a powder essentially. And this is just such a beautiful color. It really is rich, but at the same time it has a coolness to it without being ashy, which is kind of like the trifecta of a beautiful contour. And like I said, it is super affordable. I've really been enjoying it. If my nails caught your eye, it is this guy. It is such a fun and kind of obvious collaboration that makes so much sense. Sally Hansen and Crayola totally brought me back to my Crayola loving days. I used to love the Crayola scented crayons, except for the one that was in the fresh sky or sky blue or whatever that one was. I remember that. I can still smell it now and it makes me feel sick. But the other ones I loved. Not the point though. The shade Dandelion from this collaboration is just so beautiful. I've been wearing it on my nails a ton and it's just it just catches your eye. It is so bright but it also has a really nice formula. Two coats to opaque and the brush on this line is really nice as well and it has a little bit of deepness to it so it's still a really bright yellow but it just has a little bit of depth in there that to me makes it slightly more wearable. I know to a lot of people it's going to be kind of bold, but if you enjoy a bright color, this is so much fun. Moving on to a fragrance that I've been loving. I've been asked to talk more about nail polish and fragrance, so you're going to see that pop up in my monthly makeup basket along with my favorites when I have a favorite. But something that I've been loving is from Victor and Rolf, and this is the Flower Bomb Bloom. So if you're familiar with Flower Bomb, it's a very deep, sexy scent, and I've loved that forever. One of my really good friends wears it, and whenever I smell it, it reminds me of her. I just, I love that kind of scent memory but this is a new release to the line it came out about a month and a half or two months ago and it's beautiful because it has that depth to it but it also adds a little bit of a floral sweet note it has uh, I can't remember what the flowers are but I know it has notes of pomegranate in it as well I mean you're gonna have to smell it for you to really tell there's there's no way I can describe it and do it any justice but I really like that kind of juxtaposition and that balance between the two because if you don't like something too deep or if you don't like something too floral this is really nice and in the middle and I I think it's a beautiful um, summer transition fragrance if you're really into fragrance and kind of matching it with the season. This really kind of ties the two together because you have that deepness of fall but you're still kind of getting that fruity floral thing going on too. I have a lot of skincare that I'm always trying and testing out and switching back and forth. This is something that I kind of went back to more recently. You would have seen it in my nighttime skincare routine a few months back, but it is the Radiance Activating Night Peeling Care from Vichy. Essentially, it's a toner that you use after you wash your face and prior to moisturizing. The past few nights, however, and a few times this month, I have been super lazy and just used this on its own. And in general, I would never do that with a toner, but the way that this makes my skin feel it's just amazing. It doesn't strip my skin, but it just makes it feel fresh and clean, but it still feels hydrated and soft the next day, like noticeably. It's beautiful. Vichy makes amazing skincare. I absolutely love everything that I've tried from them. I used to use their Norma Derm line a ton when I was younger. still use it now because I'm still getting acne, but this is such a beautiful product. And don't be scared by the peel term. Doesn't feel like a peel, doesn't burn. It's really good for sensitive skin as well. I actually teamed up with Vichy on a video for this months and months ago, and I truly love the product. I mean, I only endorse things I love, and I just kind of rediscovered it recently and only noticed how much I truly loved it when I didn't pair it with a moisturizer, and it still made my skin feel so good. Of course, I shouldn't be using a moisturizer, but when, <laughs> when I don't, this still really does a good job kind of hydrating but clean and detoxing my skin and making it feel soft and it's kind of working on any kind of scarring I have. Another item that does a great job as a peel, something a little bit more intense, uh, this is from The Ordinary. So again, super affordable. I think this is like 680 or something like that. This is the Lactic Acid 10% with the Hyaluronic 2%. So if you have more sensitive skin, definitely go for the 5%. I don't have sensitive skin um, to, the, to the point where uh, it really, I get breakouts or redness or irritations 
trying different products. I just have like general hormonal acne. So this does a really nice job. I don't find it burns or is intense on my skin. Something that you use a few times a week after your cleansing. You can put a moisturizer on after or use it on its own if you want to kind of um, amp up the results and have it be a little bit more intense. I use this about once or twice a week. And again, it does a really good job kind of getting down into my skin and helping to remove any of the kind of extra redness and acne scars that I have. The last product that I want to mention is from Kerastase. This is from their Discipline line, which I love the name of that. It's for curly hair, which is not a disciplined type of hair at all. It's their cleansing conditioner for unruly curly hair, which is me. And this does such a good job. I try to only shampoo my hair once a week, but if I am filming, going to an event, I want to wear my hair curly, I need to wash it. Like I can't go from this to curly. Like that's just not a thing. So this is really beautiful because it cleans my hair, but it's so hydrating that I can still run my tangle teaser through there I can still do my whole process without feeling like I'm stripping my hair it's um, silicone free sulfate free and gentle cleansing if those things are important to you smells really good and so far I've had a really good experience with it it just does exactly what it says it's gonna do so my youtuber of the month is a Canadian beauty youtuber you know that I love to track down fellow Canadians uh, her name is makeup by Cheryl first of all She's freaking gorgeous, but her channel is amazing. She does tons of stuff that I think that you'll enjoy if you enjoy my channel as well. She does hauls, foundation reviews, looks. She rocks a nude lip like nobody else. Maybe she's a part of what inspired my new nude lip thing that I've been going on, but she is really fabulous, and I will, of course, link to her down below. And then for my subscribers of the month, if you weren't aware, I like to pick two people who I see commenting and interacting with me and supporting my channel, and I really, really appreciate it. So I like to give a little love back in the smallest way that I can. The first is Vikkel Jacob. She's been following me for a really long time. At least it feels like it anyways. She has curly hair like me, so we always have good chats about the struggles of curly hair. And she is just super, super sweet, always commenting, and I always enjoy having a chat with you in the comments. And then the second person is Stephanie Cole and I really like Stephanie because she's always super engaged in my content looking for advice giving me advice asking questions about products and we just have a really good back and forth and I think we like a lot of the same products so that's why we get along so thank you so much Stephanie for your support and thank you of course for watching hopefully I'll get around to mentioning you as well I've had a really good time kind of searching through my comments and finding those champions in there and I really really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to connect with me, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!